In this video, I demonstrate how to insert and remove an ELF or any other crib retained appliance. First, line the cribs up with the teeth on both sides. Press down with your finger on one of the cribs, making a circular motion. The length of the crib crescents determines how easily the crib will slide over the height of contour. Never jump into shortening a crescent, because this will diminish crib retention. Rather, take your time to get the crib seated. Once the crib is mostly seated, an instrument like a band pusher can be used directing pressure towards the apical. Observe how the occlusal rest lines up with the tooth surface. If there is no gap in between, the crib is fully seated. Repeat the process on the other side. Now both cribs are seated, but the anterior part of the body wire and the canine crescents are not yet engaged. Pressure towards the apical with your finger may be enough to make them slide into the interdental spaces. If not, use an instrument, stabilize it against the canine and pull the wire lingual and apical until it snaps in place. If needed, do this on both sides. Next, give your patient a heads up that he or she may be biting on the wire when bringing the teeth together. Then say, bite down, gently first and then harder and keep biting hard for a few seconds. During insertion of the appliance, you get a feel for how tight the cribs are fitting. They need to provide considerable resistance towards removal, otherwise they can easily come loose during mastication and also invite the patient to play with the appliance with either tongue or fingers. If you are not sure whether the overall retention is sufficient, bond resin ledges on the buccal surface of the crib teeth and on the lingual of the teeth with crescents. A design with three anterior loops, like you see it here, has a long wire span between the crescents. To prevent the wire from sliding incisally along the inclines of the anterior teeth, you also need to bond ledges here. To remove an elf, loosen one of the cribs first. If you have strong fingers, you may be able to pull the crib loose by holding onto it from buccal and lingual. Your goal is to only disengage the crib from the undercut areas. Don't pull it away from the tooth too much, because this can distort the body wire. When resin ledges are in place, you might have to use an instrument placed apical of the crib wire and your finger on the buccal side. With these two purchase points, loosen one crib at a time. The anterior part of the body wire needs to be worked in reverse to what you did on insertion. An instrument is used to pull the crescents towards lingual and incisal. With all retentive areas cleared, you are able to take the elf out.